Hey guys, it's Mercedes, and today I'm really, really excited. I know I've been telling you guys for like ages about my friend Nicole's um, line of makeup she came up with, and it's finally here. Um, she sent me a fourth of her shadows and one of her nail polishes, and I'm just so excited to show them to you. I'm actually going to be doing swatches on my hand at a different angle, like, what? Like, we're going all Allura Beauty on you for this video. The packaging she chose is adorable. She sent in this, like, pink bubble mailer, and I saw some of the other stuff she was sending to people, and they had cute mailers, too, that she sent out. So... I did every, already open everything and I've swatched things a few times but I'm still, I want to show you guys how it came packaged. It came in this beautiful iridescent purple paper, like, ah, and it has her logo on it, Honey Princess. Honey Princess is the name of the line. It's just beautiful stuff, guys, like, ugh. And then this is the nail polish. It came in uh, separately than the little bag with the eyeshadows in it. And it says Honey Princess on it like the other ones. And it's just this one. I went to her website and I double checked. The name of this nail polish is Pixel Party. Um, and so yeah, let's get into details. I will tell you guys just all about them as I show the swatches. Um, these are the... Are the size of the eyeshadows and they look kind of small but it's a loose eyeshadow so you definitely are going to get a lot of use out of this a lot and a little is going to go a long way with loose shadow pigments um they come in like mattes and shimmers all the ones she sent me are shimmery and glittery but that's totally fine with me they came in these beautiful some of them are pastel some of them are really bright colors um, she sent me four shades, like I said, and this one is Pansy, and it's purple. Um, this one is called Siren, and it's like an olive color. This one is Sly Fox, and it is like a red, purple, and this one is Secret Garden, and it's definitely a beautiful green. So let's get into the swatches, and I'll tell you about the products as we swatch them. Alright, so the first shade I'm swatching is Pansy. I'm swatching these all over the Smashbox eyeshadow primer. Pansy on the website is described as a strong purple with purple undertones. So, you know, getting a lot of purple out of this. So, what I noticed when applying these, these are loose shadows. So, you have to, like, get plenty of product on your brush. You kind of want to pat down the loose shadows on the brush and then go ahead and pat them down over your skin. These do apply well to the eyes. I would put them down not only with a primer but also with a white base like a NYX Jumbo pencil or a, um, a pencil by LA Girl. You guys know I like the LA Colors one better. Um, the jars look like this. They're small, they're, I think she said they're 0.5 ounce jars, and you get 1.5 grams of, um, of product in them. Uh, yeah, that's what it is. You get 1.5 grams of product in them, which, like I said, a little goes a long way. They do come with this sifter already on them. They came with a little seal over the sifter. You take it off. This is a great way to package these, just because there's only five holes in the sifter, so not a lot of product is coming out at once, but you're getting enough product out that you can use it for, you know, both of your eyes or even more than if you need it, and you can always just tap it in the lid and swish it around with your brush a little if you need more. I would always tap off your brush before applying. And so then just pulling the color over. This is her website is not wrong. <laughs> um, I would say this is like a violet, um, almost towards a lavender side. And then it flashes that beautiful like lavender lilac in the sunlight. The next shade is Sly Fox. It's described on her website as a mysterious red-brown with purple shimmer tones in it. 
So this is Sly Fox. There's a little bit of fallout because I didn't tap it off, but <sighs> you can see where she's ta what she's talking about when she says the purple shimmer tones. You can see that purple flash. <laughs> this shade would be great for green and um, hazel eyes. It's just a muted red brown, which means it's not going to be like super obvious on your eyes like oh my gosh she's wearing red like that sickly looking red it's gonna be like perfect for accenting uh, your brown shades the next shade is siren this is like an olive green with gold her description on her website on the Etsy page is um, yellow green with gold sparkle and so here, I'm going to swatch it. And this, I found, is the second most pigmented shade of the lines. They're all very pigmented, but this one, just instant pigmentation. You don't even have to try that hard to get it on. This is just such a beautiful shade. It would go really well with golds and with deeper greens, even. Um, it would look good with your, like, deep, deep browns. It's a really beautiful shade, and it's I love that it's called Siren because it kind of like is reminiscent almost of like an ocean seaweed green, and you can definitely see the flash of gold there. And then the last shade is my favorite shade of all of them, and it's called Secret Garden. On the Etsy page, she says that it is a cool moss shimmer green, and the girl did not lie. And this is the most pigmented of the shades. Like I said, I grabbed a little too much here. <sighs> but look at that. Just isn't it so beautiful? It is definitely... I like that her shades are a little more muted. Um, it's not that they lack pigment. <sighs> It's just that they aren't like super bright versions of their colors. You know, it's not a, a super deep green, but it's also not too pale. It's it's very neutral kind of, and it will blend in with other colors very well um, on your eyes. It's not going to like overpower the other shades too much. So these are the four shades. They're so beautiful. I love them all, and I will definitely have looks coming out soon that are specializing in showing off these four shades. Um, the last thing I want to show you is, of course, the nail polish. So please ignore the shade my nails are right now. I know they're a little chipped, but I just am so excited to talk about these products. This is Honey Princess's Nail Lacquer. Uh, the nail lacquers are... Uh, they're also vegan, cruelty free, they're five free, which means that they don't have some of those chemicals that others do. This is a top coat, um, both of the nail polishes she has on her website, on her website are, um, she describes this one as clear with pink, blue, yellow, and green geometric glitters. There's just different, um, hexagons and pentagons in this, um, it's a 75 milliliter bottle. Uh, no, I'm sorry. It's a 15 milliliter. It's a 15 milliliter bottle, which is half a fluid ounce. And it comes, of course, with a brush for application. This is such a cute nail polish. I'm, I'm going to apply some here. But you can use either swiping or dabbing motions for this polish. But I like doing a little bit of both. And you can just see these are really fun, cute geometric shapes. I'll zoom in on here in a second. But they're just so adorable. And this one is called, I didn't mention the name, it's Pixel Party. So that's a pretty <laughs> sloppy application. But that is Pixel Party. It's got these adorable, like octagons, hexagons. You can see here it's got little speckles in it too of blue and pink and green and just this really bright. Some of them are matte, the speckles, and some of them are shimmery. 
but they're really cute and it looks really great with like a pale color I think I'm gonna do when I do it better I'm gonna do it with like a mint green underneath oh, it's so cute though I love it it's adorable she did a great job picking colors and just finding a good clear polish that would you know allow the the speckles into it so yeah that's the pixel party nail polish so you can find all of Honey Princess's products at uh, Honey Princess on Etsy. The owner, who I said is a personal friend of mine uh, of Honey Princess, she's actually including a special code for our uh, for my subscribers. The code is try25. I'll put a, I'll, I'll put that down in the description. It gets you off 25% up until May 31st on your order at the Honey on Honey Princess. Uh, you can get all of her eyeshadows. There are 16 different ones. I only have the four, but all 16 of the eyeshadows are $5, and she also has one on sale. Polar is only $3. The nail polishes, the one I showed you, Pixel Party, this one, is $7.50, which is a little higher, obviously, than the eyeshadows, but you get a lot, and you get not only a lot of product, but you get a top coat, so it's going to last you longer than a normal nail polish would. Um, the Valentine's Day nail polish, which had hearts and uh, silver and red sparkles in it, that is only $2.50 right now, and it's a smaller bottle. This one is 15 milliliters. That one is only 5 milliliters. She also has a lipstick. It's called Candy, and it's $8. It's vegan, handmade, no beeswax or animal product used. She lists all the ingredients for all her products on the websites, um, so you can definitely find them there. The lipstick is described as a hot pink candy, and it's in a slim tube. Like I mentioned before, all the eyeshadows come with a um, with a sifter and a seal over them for shipping. As far as shipping goes from the Etsy site, I forgot to check the price, but I'm pretty sure it's under it's like four seven dollars. Um, she said she will get everything shipped in two, one to two days. And it takes two to five business days in the U.S. to ship those things. Internationally, she says to allow one to three weeks for shipping. In Canada, please allow ten days. And she ships them out of Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, same place she makes them. <laughs> um, and she accepts PayPal orders for her products. I don't make a cent off of the special go code that's listed down below that she gave me to use for you guys. Uh, it's simply there because we really want to uh, get this line up and running. I It's not my product line, it's hers. I'm just really proud of her and everything that's been going on with this. I mentioned before I will have special looks for each one of these eyeshadows coming up soon. I really hope that you enjoy them and I really hope that you'll try out her products. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you later. Bye!